Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today we are going to look at a little different topic and today we are going to talk about the vulnerabilities and patch management feature which is available in Kaspersky Security Center and business product. So first of all, before you start, the main requirement is for the license. So you need to have any of these three licenses. You either need to have Kaspersky Security Center Advanced License, Optimum or Total Security License should be there with you before you can start working with this feature. So once you have this thing in place, the first thing what you would need to do is of course you need to make sure that your security center is getting properly updated. The second point what you need to do is you need to come to tasks, create a task over here or maybe if you would like to create a task for specific set of computers, the same procedure goes you need to come to the tasks, go to new task, and then you have to look for a task which is called find vulnerabilities and required updates and you'll click on next just keep everything default for now these are the folder which it will check for any updates and then we are going to click on next you can schedule this task let's say every week I would like to run this task and you can define the time period when you would like to start this or trigger this task and then click next name it and click next over here for me I'm going to run the task after the visit let's say and finish it as soon as I'll finish this task this task will be targeted to go to this computer group not to any other computer group because we have only selected this managed devices group. Of course, it will run a scan. Uh, it might take some time to get this scan done. So you might need to wait for certain hours depending on number of devices you are targeting. But as soon as the star triggers, you will be able to see all these things over here that things are being processed. And if you want, you can just click on view results and you will be able to see the details over here. If your Windows updates agent is not properly working, you might see something kind of this message right so you need to make sure your windows update agent is also working and properly configured to work but it is a test environment i'm right now not concerned about that my main concern is to show how this feature works so even if i discover the third party updates vulnerabilities i am good with that so moving forward once these tasks this task is completed definitely i'll be able to see those software vulnerabilities in my application management tab i did a scan some time back because i knew that it would take little time longer time so i can click on this software vulnerability tab and over here i'll be able to see the vulnerabilities which are being identified and also i should be able to see the criticality level of those vulnerability and relevant details over here and the web addresses and whatever relevant information are available over here so there's a huge column list which you can look at when you click on each one of them on the right over here you can see the vulnerability description published in Kaspersky website the CVE references and you can see the effect of the vulnerability the application which is there what application family family it belongs to and what is the recommended major patch for the fix on this particular vulnerability and whatever number of vulnerabilities are found for example if it is on multiple computers you will be able to see it over here moving forward of course once those vulnerabilities are found you have multiple options to do uh, you can run vulnerability fix wizard you can perform an action over here to view the devices view list of tasks fixing this vulnerabilities and you can go additional action where you can view the report on the vulnerabilities or configure vulnerability scan in this regard or you can just run 
vulnerability fixed wizard over here also and you can search for the task that fix this vulnerability if not you can create a new vulnerability fix task or add vulnerability fix rule to existing task that's also possible but in my case i do not have any task so i'm going to create one of course based on certain um, vulnerability fixing uh, capabilities i i can select different rules over here so rules is without any rule uh, rule for fixing vulnerability of this severity level rule for fix, uh, fixing vulnerability in application by selected vendor rule for fixing a vulnerability in all version of selected application or rule for fixing selected vulnerability so it depends what exactly i would like to do that's one way you can create and you can finish this or there is another way you can go to software updates and it will show you the updates which can be applied to this vulnerability so if you look over here you have two things coming up there is one which is 68.x version which is again an old version issued on 2020 or there is a latest version which is available over here you can simply click on approve or you can go run update installation visit or you can go into this task list and you can go additional again there are certain tasks over here you can configure windows update synchronization all these things you can do when you are fixing vulnerabilities so up to you how you would like to fix it you can go from here as i was explaining you uh, earlier or you can simply come over here and you can click on this particular vulnerability which you would like to fix and you can say approve so once you approve license agreement i confirm that i have fully read and understand and i'll say accept the selected so now you see that a pre uh, preparation was going on now this vulnerability fix is approved over here just click on it run update installation visit and in over here you see again same thing is happening uh, which we were trying over there and you see the installation rule for vulnerability of this maximum severity level um, or anything so let's say i am going to say install update for selected application let's say in my case and i'm going to finish uh, do you want to install automatically all previous application updates that are required yes and finish and I, then it says you update have been successfully installed on your device kind of uh, message should appear to end user and if required it will restart after or if you do not want to restart just uncheck this so that it should not ask end user to restart the machine over here okay and you if you do not want to repeat this if you do not want any prompt you can choose do not restart the device or restart the device or prompt anything depending on what you want uh, because some updates require you to restart the machine like windows updates and all so in that case sometimes we have seen this in our experience that user does not restart their machine for ages they put it on sleep and then the next day they will open they will work then they will put it on sleep and they'll keep on actually postponing their uh, restart that actually also affect the vulnerabilities because the vulnerabilities will not be fixed properly unless or until some machines are restarted if required i'm going to click next then the next part is where i would like to assign this task i'm going to select to this computer assign it to this computer or this group and i'm going to click next when i would like to run this of course manually weekly it's the same process right and for now i am going to click on manually install require update and fix vulnerability is the task which i am going to work with run the task after the visit finishes and finish now you see there is a task created over here which is basically targeted to this particular machine which is scheduled it will take little time of course to start this task and then you see downloading update is going on and of course the whole process will take place now let's go to software vulnerabilities over here and because i rescanned it you can see i have now more vulnerabilities detected currently it's in a same product so 
but there are different level of vulnerabilities if you double click on any one of them it shows you all the details about this so basically this is in this particular application this is the vendor this is the family of the vendor you can do get your recommended fixes in this also users uh, user fixes and other fixes if there are any or you can check which instances this vulnerabilities uh, exist on and task to fix this vulnerability if there is any created or you can create it so completely possible of course uh, this task will take little time to fix this vulnerability and when this once this vulnerability is fixed you can review it over here and this task is completed one out of one is fixed and if we go back over here this is still showing because of course the task of vulnerability detection has has to run again otherwise of course how we'll get to know that this vulnerability is fixed so i can probably trigger this task again and once this is completed i'll be able to see that this vulnerability is fixed so meanwhile this scan is going on of course it will take time as i said earlier also if we go to my machine where this vulnerability was identified laptop zero uh, one i can just simply go to control panel for example okay and or i can go to appwiz.cpl one of the same things if you come over here you can see the mozilla thunderbird 78.7.0 .7 is installed and you can look at the date and time uh when it is installed of course the date and of course if you open thunderbird you can view this version over here as well but as i said this task thing takes little time it will take its own time of course to complete and then once this is complete you will be able to see that all these vulnerabilities which were being shown to me are fixed so now though the task list is still going on you can see that vulnerability list has gone from here the reason is we have updated the software to the latest version thank you so much for watching this walk through please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you were looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which i'm talking about thank you and stay blessed